All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be going over and updating you guys on the PvE tier list for March 2023 after the Stardust Cookie update, as well as including Space Donut. So let's get into it, guys. Of course, this is going to be based on my opinion, as well as my experience right now, clearing all the up to 16-29 dark mode and also around 5-26 in master mode. And I am doing pretty well in the Cookie Alliance and other game modes included in the PvE section. So let's get into it. And of course, I've kind of changed it and updated the PvE, uh, you know, tier list sections a bit based on the recommendations that I got through the comment section from the last tier list. So let's get into it first with the don't use section. And I bundled up the C tier as well as the don't use together. And it is going to include fig, raspberry, pastry, snow sugar, lilac, chili pepper, as well as tails and sonic. So these cookies, I definitely don't recommend you guys to invest in them right now. It's just not worth it. Uh, so stay away from them if possible. All right. It's for both PvP and PvE. So it's just going to be recommended not to invest in them as of right now. And then the B tier is going to include T-Knight, Red Velvet, Moon Rabbit. We got Madeline, Molossus, Minchoko, as well as Candy Diver. So these cookies can be used. I mean, they're decent. Like in PvE, you guys can use a lot of the other cookies that are not really quote-unquote meta. But it's just not recommended you guys to invest in these cookies just because of the fact that resources to level these guys up, especially skill powders, it's going to definitely be scarce and you don't want to be wasting them on cookies that you're not going to use as often. All right, next one is going to be A tier. A tier, there's a lot of different cookies here, guys, and one of them is going to be one that you guys might not agree with a lot, but here we go. Let's get into it. It's going to be strawberry crepe as well as uh, cocoa. We got milk cookie with the magic candy still. Uh, we got Kumio, Black Raisin, we got Latte, Cherry Blossom, Mango, uh, Twizzly Gummy, we got Tiger Lily, Alfagato, uh, we got Sparkling Prophet, Caramel, as well as Almond. All right, so I put Caramel in here. Uh, I just feel like Caramel is just not really, really good and, uh, you know, going to help a lot inside of the PvE section right now, especially with a lot of the speed comps not being uh, as strong as it used to, even in the PvE section. Uh, so I think Caramel Arrow as a offensive frontline archer, all right, or range cookie, uh, it's just not really recommended to invest in her right now, especially to use in PVE section. All right, so as you guys can see now, the new two ones that I've added, actually boss battle cookie was already there, but the healer, all right, these are going to be the healers that you guys can invest in and use. Uh, but of course, if you guys can get to the first to get and the SS section, uh, then you guys probably don't even need to use some of these cookies, but it is going to be uh, cream unicorn herb as well as carol as the main three healers all right and then we got parfait as well as uh you know pomegranate here parfait did get a little bit of a buff so using her inside of the pve section will not be a bad idea but of course there are still going to be a better option than her uh compared to someone like you know pure vanilla as well as bts and then the next one is going to be the boss battle cookies these cookies are really just i would say used for boss battles here and it's going to be poison mushroom dark choco sorbet as well as vampire with the magic candy i would say vampire uh has fallen off a lot inside of the world inspiration especially with the new episodes coming out because a lot of the bosses are going to be immune to uh the vampiric bite all right or the debuffs in general uh so instead of going with vampire it's just better to go with someone like rye even as well as just anybody who is able to buff up your cookies or even just deal a lot of damage consistently rather than having to focus on that one particular skill. And now with that out of the way, guys, let's get into the first to get section. And these are going to be the cookies that you're going to be able to get with mileage points. All right. That's the reason why I put them into first to get. All right. It's not because of the fact that they are better than the SS tier. All right. Please, please, please keep that in mind. They're not always going to be better or in the same tier as SS. All right. The reason why I put them in the first to get is because they are available inside of the mileage shop or they're available through events which is going to be for okay pure vanilla as well as hollerberry i believe these two cookies are absolutely amazing if you guys can get your hands on them then basically get them i would personally recommend if you guys are focusing on the pve section getting pure vanilla is going to be the better option than uh, hollerberry just because of the fact that pure vanilla is able to alleviate a lot of the injury as well as heal a ton inside of the world exploration right now providing a hp shield on top of it holiberry is also really really good though i mean holiberry has a great amount of damage right now as well as tanking ability and just the amount of stuff that she's able to do for the team is also really really good uh, as a frontline tank and then the next ones are going to be the ones that you're able to get through the mileage shop once again guys and it is going to include wildberry as well as brute 
two of the best tanks i would say right now for the pve section while very of course the more of a defensive one with the damage resist buff and we got brute who is more of an offensive tank uh with the attack buff as well as the consistent stuns next one is gonna be eclair eclair is still really really good for the world exploration of course of course uh he has fallen off a lot but still he is gonna be okay and he is gonna be a good idea to invest in if you guys have the option to do so especially for the newer player and then captain caviar is gonna be a great dps for you guys in the world exploration as well of course there are going to be better options inside of the ss tier with a lot of the other dps from the super epic as well as legendary but captain caviar is not a bad idea to invest in if you guys have the ability to do so as an epic cookie and the last one is going to be cotton cotton did get a little bit of a buff here as well so especially with that buff using cotton uh for world exploration or even some pve sections like cookie alliance is not a bad idea either so that's going to conclude the first to get i have moved all of the other you know healers out of the way because a lot of people talked about hey because they don't listen uh they, they're like oh how is uh you know carol herb and cream unicorn better than some of the cookies at ss tier uh, no they're not better it's just that they were able to be earned through the model shop that's why it said it but you know just to clear things up i just moved them and just put them in the healer section next one is going to be ss tier here guys and this is going to include dark cacao as well as purple yam with the magic candy we got milky way who's amazing for bosses right now and then we got moonlight we still got black pro in here sherbet as well as i've actually included frost queen in here because frost queen is actually really really good now especially in some of the other sections like episode 15 16 and also the master mode so i think it was really worth it to put frost queen in the ss tier now and then we got pinecone who's a really really good bomber who's also able to tank and just do some insane stuns for you guys so in world exploration using pinecone is not a bad idea at all guys and we got cream puff with the magic candy amazing healer amazing buffs just overall really really good especially if you guys can get her magic candy up and the last one is going to be bts still really really good as a healer consistently healing as well as giving buffs to your team all right now last one is going to be with the s tier before we add stardust as well as uh space donut and it's going to include Finn and Seer, Werewolf with the Magic Candy. We got Crunchy Chip, uh, you know, Sea Fairy. Clotted Cream is still okay in the World Exploration uh, with a lot of the damages and the cage. Uh, we got Espresso with the Magic Candy. We got Licorice with the Magic Candy. I would say Pumpkin Pie uh, might even be worth putting in A tier very, very soon. But as of right now, I'll still put her in S tier. We got Rye with the Magic Candy. We got Squid Ink with the Magic Candy. Maybe Squid Ink is even worth in the SS tier. But I think that Squid Ink, you know, is very interchangeable. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of better options out there, especially for a lot of the game modes, except uh, it, when it comes to wave clearing, all right, or one shot comp squid ink is really, really good. We got Macaron as well as Blueberry Pie. Blueberry Pie is okay, better in PvP, but in World Exploration, you can still use her. And then we got last one with the Oyster here. And now moving on to the two newest cookie we're going to add, it's going to be Stardust as well as Space Donut. Space Donuts, I'm actually going to be adding Space Donut to the SS tier. Um, absolutely amazing inside of the world exploration, honestly speaking, with the defense reduction, as well as turning the cookies or turning the enemies, actually, into donuts, preventing them from attacking you and things like that. So it's really amazing in the Cookie Alliance as well. And the last one is Stardust. I honestly am debating whether to put Stardust into SS tier or S tier. I think it's a safer bet to put Stardust into S tier just because of the fact that the damage output of Stardust in PvE is not as great as you guys would think, uh, just because of the fact that you are really focusing on all of those debuffs, but against bosses and things like that too, because of the fact that he's doing more of an AoE damage, he's going to be really slow at uh, dealing damage to those bosses, and if, especially if they are immune to the debuffs that he's going to give, he is going to be a little bit harder to use compared to someone like, you know, just Moonlight, Sherbet, as well as all the other DPSs who are going to just do straight up really, really good damage. All right. So I think I'm, it's a safer bet for right now to put Stardust as an S tier for the PVE section. But of course, once again, guys, you guys can definitely use him if you guys would like to do so because you guys have invested him, especially for PVP section. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the PVE tier list for March. 2023 with the stardust as well as space donut update i hope you guys found the video helpful if you guys have any you know recommendations if you guys have any changes that you guys would like to make of course leave it down in the comments below but thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys all on the next one